Hello and welcome to the third video in the Algebraic Fractions topic. In this video we're going to be looking at how we simplify fractions by factorising. So sometimes when we're dealing with Algebraic Fractions, to simplify it we need to factorise. Now remember there are three methods of factorisation. The first method is a common factor method. The second method is the difference of two squares. And the third method is a trinomial method. Sometimes your expression might not need to be factorised. Other times you might need to apply more than one of these methods to factorise it fully. Pause the video just now and take note of these three methods. Okay, here is example number one. In this example we're going to be using the common factor method and we have to simplify 4x plus 12 equals 8x plus 36. So we need to take each of these expressions individually and factorise. Looking at the 4x plus 12, we can see that there's a common factor of 4. So we can take that out. To get back to the 4x plus 12, we need to multiply the 4 by x first of all, and then the 4 by 3. So in its factorised form, 4x plus 12 is 4 bracket x plus 3. Similarly, on the denominator, we have the expression 8x plus 36. Again, the highest common factor between 8 and 36 is a 4. To get back to 8x, we need to multiply by 2x. And to get back to 36, we need to multiply by 9. So we get 4 bracket 2x plus 9. From here, you can see that this is written as a product of factors. And both of those have a common factor of 4. At this point, we can divide by 4 on the numerator and the denominator to get our finalised expression in its simplest form of x plus 3 over 2x plus 9. Pause the video just now and copy this example into your jotter. Okay, example number 2. This time we're looking at the difference of two squares. So we have to simplify the expression x plus 3 all squared over x squared minus 9. On the denominator of the fraction, you'll see we've got the expression x squared minus 9. This is your difference of two squares. We have the subtraction of two square terms. Remember, 9 is a square number. To simplify this, we need to factorise it firstly. And it would help us to write the numerator as a product of factors as well. So we can expand out the numerator to get x plus 3, x plus 3. And to factorise the x squared minus 9, remember we need to take the square root of each term. In this case, it's x and 3, where 1 has a plus and 1 has a negative. So now that you can see the product of factors, you can see which ones are common to both the numerator and the denominator. In this case, we can divide both by x plus 3. This leaves you with your simple fraction of x plus 3 over x minus 3. Again, pause the video and take note of this into your jotter. Right, and example number 3. This time we're using the trinomial method. So we have to simplify x minus 4 to the power of 3 over x squared minus 6x plus 8. So we have the trinomial on the denominator of the fraction. The numerator of the fraction we can expand out and express as a product of factors again. So x minus 4 all cubed. Well, that means we have x minus 4 multiplied by itself three times. So we can write that out as our product of factors. To factorise our denominator, what we're looking to do is to find the factors of 8 that will add to give us the negative 6. So think about the factors of 8. We have 1 and 8, or we have 4 and 2. Clearly, we need to use 4 and 2. We're looking for a negative 6 and a positive 8, therefore both of these need to be negative. So in its factorised form, we have x minus 4, x minus 2. Now that it's written as a product of factors, you can see what you can divide the numerator and the denominator by, and in this case, we can cancel off an x minus 4. That leaves us with x minus 4 
x minus 4 on the numerator all over x minus 2. Now it's better for us to write this in the form that we started with. The x minus 4, x minus 4 can be written as x minus 4 all squared over x minus 2. And that's that fraction in its simplest form. Again, pause the video and take note of this into your jotter. And on to number 4. In this example, we need to look at multiple factorisation. So go through the process of identifying a common factor, a difference of two squares and a trinomial if necessary. Take each of the terms individually and factorise them. Looking at the numerator of the fraction, we have the expression 2y squared minus 32. You can clearly see that there's a common factor of 2 there, so we can take that out. Taking that out, we end up with y squared minus 16 in the bracket. And that y squared minus 16 is actually a difference of two squares. So that tells us we need to factorise this again. On the denominator of the fraction, we have 4y squared plus 36y plus 80. Again, there's a common factor there. Each of those numbers divide by 4. So let's take out 4 as a common factor. So we have y squared plus 9y plus 20. And what you see inside that bracket, we actually have a trinomial. So both the numerator and the denominator need to be factorised again here. So to factorise the numerator, we want the difference of two squares. Let's see the common factor there just now factorise the difference of two squares. Again, we want the square root of both terms, one positive, one negative. So now it's expressed as the product of factors. And on the denominator of the fraction, we're looking for the factors of 20 that will give us a positive 9. So that's going to be 5 and 4. We can leave the 4 where it is at the moment. We have y plus 4 and y plus 5. Now that we can clearly see the factors for each of them, we can think about what we can cancel. So the 2 and the 4 will cancel, so that will leave us with a 1 there and a 2 here. But then we also have this factor of y plus 4. So in its simplest form, this fraction becomes y minus 4 over 2 bracket y plus 5. And we've fully simplified this fraction. Again, pause the video and take note of this into your notes jotter. Okay, here are a few questions for you to try before you attend your lesson. Each of these uses different methods of factorisation. Some you need to use two or three methods to simplify to its simplest form. 